Welcome back to the village of 10 super settlers, oops, 11 now with the new settler and her random stats messing up the super average. But this is going medieval and I take in all who want to live in my villages. I hope you have been enjoying this third playthrough with not only a unique starting settler setup, but this new approach to village designs. During this episode I will spend some time digging down and ending up with some serious stability problems. Half of which I caused and the other half caused by a bug still messing up the stability mechanics. My villagers deal with the remains of the raiders from the end of the previous episode, both their bodies and arms. By adding new crop fields I secure future stimulants production while I work through the tech tree trying to build a kitchen, but then I realized I skipped ahead of some required tech so it becomes a bit messy. With all of that this makes up for a very interesting episode to watch and learn from both from mistakes and good ideas. And here we are post our first raid, the 10 super settlers, well 10 super settlers and one uh, not so good settler managed to defend themselves pretty well and now I have plenty of gear that I need to store somewhere. Now I first need to allow them to pick it up and I also need to find all the spots where I can store and take a look at all this gear, see what's good and what's not that good and what's for keeping, what's for equipping, although I currently have lots of good gear that I have started with, but you never know what these raiders might have. I think that's about all the gear. I don't have any exact spots here, so I might as well put it in these rooms just to keep it out of harm's way from the elements until I can sort it out and see what do I have. So I'm going to find the homes that have the most room in them for example this one over here and this one here and then go with high clear all and just go for warfare and then copy these settings well actually not like this i'm going to copy them like this and then pass them over to here so that will allow me to store that and i could also store it in the library till i have more room for such stuff so they'll Take that to those places and then store them. Oh, actually there's a big one here. Let's copy this entire stockpile and have it here. So that should be enough spot for that. I'll go through it, see what's good, what's not and destroy what isn't. Although I don't really have workbenches to destroy that stuff. So that's something that's going to take some time to do. As for their schedule, I also need to check are they all arrested because I interrupted them during the raid from their normal sleeping schedule, but they seem to be okay, nobody suffering or anything. It's 2 a.m. It is still spring, so I don't really have to change anything, but I definitely need to keep digging down here and make that underground room, the store room for food, basement, because I'm going to have a problem if I don't build that soon and my food is going to start rotting up here. Now, what design should I choose? I should do something new and different. I guess I should go on the left so that I don't go below the trench, although this is deeper than the trench, but I still prefer it to go over here. So let's see, if this is the doorway, I am not going to actually put doorways here even though I mentioned them, because in one of the updates, which I keep forgetting about, the game is now set up so that the staircases themselves act like separation for different rooms. So this will become a room just because there is a staircase leading to it. But of course that doesn't apply to rooms on the same level, which means that I will need a doorway here, but I first need to design this room. As I said, this is going to be the entrance to it. So if I go and dig from here and go over here, that's enough room between it and the staircase, so that's fine. I'm thinking of making a set of large ones next to each other. So I'm going to go with this one being down here while the next one up there. And so I will start from here and let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be a pillar here, a pillar here, and then go down. No, actually that's not going to be good because I need it to be a pillar here and this over here. It should actually be dug a little bit. Yeah, that was my bad. I always have a problem forgetting the corners. Well, if I've already started doing it like this, I might as well continue in this way. So leave it like this and then have it go because this is its pillar one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, another pillar, and then go from here, this being a pillar, and then it being a pillar for this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this being a pillar, and this is going to be a huge room to use as my basement. Now, that does not leave a path through here, but that can always be dug through here with the staircases, with another level going down, or just take and put a door here. So while they're digging that, I am going to have that done pretty quickly because a lot of them have mining as their skill. I should take a look at what I got from the weaponry. A flimsy iron two-handed mace, iron meaning it's bad when it comes to DPS, and durability, which is something I explained in my weapons and armor overview video guide, which is linked up here, just so you know if you haven't watched it before. Over here, they haven't stockpiled any weaponry. Over here, flimsy iron mace, sturdy iron dagger, again with the iron. And wait, is that it? Where are the armor sets? Oh, they haven't picked up everything. Oh my god, <laughs> I completely forgot about the dead bodies. I need to get rid of those. So let's see, somewhere out of sight and out of mind. Oh, they've actually been doing this on their own and they've been stockpiling them here, but that's not <laughs> good. Yeah, I left the human caucuses available here. So what I will have to do is disable waste. Well, I want the dead bodies there, but I don't want the waste to be going there. So I'll make a new dumping stockpile somewhere over here. Let's put it just like so and then go with high and go with just waste and nothing else so clear all just a lot of waste so the bodies should be going there let's see who has already suffered because of this here nope hasn't suffered so that body so that body twice three times yeah that's really unfortunate so let's pick somebody who is up here but had four times yeah that was very bad on my part so getting resources no go and prioritize hauling to stockpile and let's see who else can do that not seen a body prioritize hauling to stockpile so that's two bodies that are left there the one up here has been taken away two three four five six so that's all of them now flimsy and sturdy leather winter clothing so i should actually allow a petal here as well to get all those clothings clothing no <laughs> i meant clothes that are set here here and here and they should be moved to the spots for them now are they going to go and pick up ash in order to put it over there huh what i'm going to do just to make sure that they don't do that is remove this from the stockpile hopefully they are not going to go for the ash and move it and then see all these dead bodies here but that's a good question so definitely my problem for not making a new stockpile for bodies before they actually did that on their own i was concentrating on the weaponry but i should have thought about the dead bodies that are going to create a problem so i've definitely lost a lot of mood because of this how long is this going to last 18 hours so only a day that's not too big of an issue so they've moved this it's mostly sturdy as could be expected what does kema have oh she has good linen winter clothing okay so I won't have to make new ones anytime soon. Now, summer is about to start. And have they dug? Well, they've dug some of it, not too much of it. But hopefully, if I don't give them any more jobs anywhere else, they should be done with this soon enough. And then I need to dig inside. And I do not have shelves yet. Do I have shelves yet? I have. I have unlocked shelves in the previous episode. So I can start let's see if i take this one out and start my first shelf being here or should i have them next to the walls no i think i will leave them in the middle and leave the walls for passageways so shelves shelves passageway shelf shelf passageway no that's going to leave some empty room oh they finished this so i can add the beam yeah i think i'm going to have to rethink the design of these rooms just not stop going six by ten and start doing something that actually can fit the shelves in better. That's actually something that I re am really going to spend some time on, because I think it's going to be worthwhile for both you and me to figure out the best placement, and I'll probably include it in a Let's Play episode or a guide, so I will link it up here once I do it. I think I will, instead of making separate rooms 10x6, I think I'm going to make a huge space of 10x6. And I think in doing that, I will have more room to deal with shelves and their order 
I'll let them do the shelves here. And that's spring day 8, so that's okay. How much wood do I have? 480, so it's not that much. And these are still young, so I will probably have to take care of some mature trees from the surrounding area. Why is the flimsy short bow still not anywhere on any stockpile? So, who is, is that hauling? That's Kama, but she's also doing... Oh, that's because I prioritized cooking so much to use up all the cabbage and to make sure that they are making rough wine. But since that has been done now, and I said in the previous episode that I'm going to get these jobs back in order, I'm going to reduce the cooking down to like 3 here. This person here has 40, so she stays at that high level. This one should go back to 2. She does hunting, construction, and also can do culinary. Okay, so that's two. For her, that's going to be three, and here at 15, but also tailoring more important. So let's go with this to being three for cooking. That's hopefully not going to ruin the production speed of rough wine, but we'll see soon enough. As for barley, how is it barley going? I don't actually have too much barley. I have some over here, some over here. For 11 settlers, I don't think that's actually going to be enough. So I better add more. And barley, barley, barley. There we go. Or I could have actually just extended these. That's the simpler way of doing this. Maybe up here and a little bit over here. And as for this barley, let's extend it to here. Yeah, I haven't added too much with this. Maybe I should just use a copy and then go with a little bit more barley over here. I think that's going to be enough. Now, as for Kema, I wanted to make sure that... Wait, oh right, I left the armor on all of them. And I should actually disarmor them to get their speed up. So let's go with the apparel here increase. And then tell them to not have to wear armor. And then they're just going to drop it wherever they are, aren't they? Let's see. No armor, no armor, no armor, no armor, and no armor. Yeah, they were just dropping it wherever they were on the map. That's the annoying thing, that there is no simple way and a nice way of dealing with putting on and taking off armor before combat. I would love it if there could be some command for them to actually go and pick up their weapons and armor, which you have set them up to pick up, but not to wear. So, a difference between wearing and picking up. Something like that would be really useful. Okay, so let's fix this up. Wooden beam, and then they can start digging this completely. So shelves, high priority. Four, hmm, do I set it up now or just do I give them everything? Yeah, just no textiles, just no material. And then food and medicine down here. And as soon as I get more shelves, I'll place them here. Now, looking at it, actually, if, no, I think I actually miscalculated this. I can put the shelves in here with two rows of them being here. If I have two rows here and this is a spot to move through, they can move through here as well and then have passageway here, two more rows of shelves here, passageway, two more rows of shelves, passageway and another row of shelves. That would actually work out excellent. It would be like a T passageway, but I think it would still work out nicely. I'm not sure which is the more optimal setup, but as I said, I'm going to do a test on that and then and then show you what works out best. Okay, so while they're doing that, I just need to copy the settings from this shelf onto this one and add in, actually not that way, this way, copy more shelves. And they are going to need a passageway to actually get to these shelves. So remove this and then they'll be able to get to all those four shelves. And I will probably need a couple of more. So let's go. Can I copy the settings off of this one if it's not yet built? I think I can. Excellent. That's probably going to be enough. I think a lot of it can fit on shelves. And this spring day nine, it's not even summer yet. So we are going great with this. Now, what I want to do is speed up their connection to this upper part where they are doing this. And I can do that with the roads. As you know, I have made a guide about making roads a long time ago. Link up here and below. And now I will add more roads here. Let's just see which paths should I choose. So through here. And as for these, like so. And then down here. All the way to this house. And then around it 
over here, 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 and down. And then same for this one. Okay, now this is in the way. I will have to deconstruct this so it no longer is in my way. And then continue with the brick road from here. Going like this and then into this door right here. So that's going to lead them from there. This should go like this. And then the stockpile is in the way, but that can be fixed by shrinking it. Although, look what's going to happen now. This is not going to be a stockpile anymore, but I can just copy it and remake it over here. And then continue with the clay path to about here. Okay, so that's going to give them a faster way to get to and from the places where they are going to be harvesting wood when it grows up, when it grows up, when it grows to full maturity and also all the foods that are over here. And I will need some passageways to the left and the right, but I will add those later. The important thing is that they have good paths to travel on and get there faster. Now let's see how are we dealing with these shops down here. They have yet to build all of them and I should keep digging. So let's dig that and have, I think this is going to be enough room, but I might as well dig a little bit more. As for research, I'm at 26 available chronicles. I could go with this, but I don't really have a limestone, so no need. Tailoring is a good idea to have more different clothing, but I think everybody has good clothing for now. Although every next settler is probably going to have worse clothing. Wait, why do we have, why are we wearing armor again? Didn't I told you to... How did I not click on these two? I have no idea how I missed that, but in any event, it's done now. Kema is doing a really good job on mining. Her mining skill is a really good addition to this village. And somebody should be building those. I'm not sure why they are building roads instead of those shelves. When I have plenty of wood, they have actually cut down a lot of it lightly. Oh my god, they did carry the ash from here all the way to here. That was so stupendous of you to do. I really need to write to developers and tell them there's no need to move ash around. <laughs> On second thought, yeah, you need to move it sometimes when you make it in the workbenches. Oh my god, why did I not just go for bid? <laughs> oh, that was so dumb of me. <laughs> okay, that, that was my fault entirely now. Now I get it. I totally forgot about the forbid function. And I was going on, like saying, I need to write to the developers and tell them they need to put this in the game. <laughs> and they already had put that in the game. Ah, oh, that was just hilarious. I bet you were laughing your asses off and they started talking about that. You were like, Peter, just use that damn forbid function. <laughs> That's what happens when you play so many different games to showcase them to your followers on YouTube. You start forgetting about what each game has and when you go into the nitty gritty details. So that is why I probably give off the impression that when I'm showing you a guide and you go like, oh, this guy knows perfectly how to play. But then you watch my last play and I'm like making stupid mistakes like that. <laughs> it's simply because when I'm making a guide, I'm pretty into that game at the moment and I know every nitty gritty detail, which is why I'm able to show it off to you. But when I'm not making a guide, I kind of am playing something else or making a guide about another game. And then when I'm doing a let's play episode of, let's say going medieval, I forget some of the details like this detail, which was very important but I totally forgot about it. So let's go with this to high because there's no need for food to anymore be here with a high setup and then have it go onto the shelves. Why are shelves not built with very high setup? I have no idea. I must have for copied a setting from one of the shelves that had the setting at low. That's probably the reason why that happened. But in any event, that's fixed now. So very high and they'll start bringing in and they've already started. Excellent. So the freshness of these two here is now down, but with that being over here now, it's no longer going to be an issue. Now, in order to make more shelves, I just need to copy them and have them go up to here, as I said, and then the rows will continue over here. I do have plenty of wood to make them and good builders to do so. Now, why is... What? And that's probably because this is down here. Yeah, this is one of the oddest things here. 
the stability starts to drop even though it used to be perfect. So now once again, as you saw in some of my previous episodes, you lose stability because down here stability is lost, but even though the stability down here is at 4, this place loses stability and that is kind of a bug that the developers really need to look into. Now you see the stability here has reduced from 4 down to 3 and this pillar even has 2. But what's going to happen is that I'm going to tear down these wooden walls here, which have bad stability. The ones that have gone down to 2 and 3. 3, 3. And yeah, that's not now going to happen. That's all going to break down. But when I rebuild this, it's actually going to go back to full stability. I think I actually broke a lot more than I thought it was going to break, but okay. And now when they rebuild this, you'll see that it's going to go back to four stability. It lost stability because underneath it, even though there's like two levels of ground underneath it, I have a new room and therefore everything that's above it lost stability. And it's really one of the annoying bugs. And the only way to avoid this is to first dig and then build above it, which is kind of hard to do when you're making a new village. There's really no way to fix it except as you saw right now to destroy it and then rebuild it now what oh research available what is available tailoring cooking oh i should definitely go for cooking i think i even have some herbs for that or should I go for smelting i don't really have anything to smelt currently so i think cooking is the best use of these chronicles currently to make cool foods so yeah i'll unlock that now, where do I build my kitchen? Because now I can have a kitchen. Not here, because I don't really have the room for it. And going to the... Actually, there, I have a perfect spot for a kitchen. Here. I just need to move all this. So, let's go with the mechanical components being... Where was their room? There was room here. So, material, manufactured, and mechanical components. That's going to go there, this is going to go low, and these packaged meals have to be moved. Oh, right, it's still forbid. Okay, go to allow. So this stuff is going to get moved. I might as well actually just remove and deconstruct this, and then I will make a kitchen instead of this spot here. So yeah, there we go, plenty of shelves, so that is all going to get moved. And what? they have rebuilt this. What? Stability is still at 2? Why? This is rather odd. That should not be happening. Especially because this gives stability of 4. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And it even overlaps with this 1, 2, 3, 4. This is an odd one. Okay, that's now a big issue. Especially because I wanted to build up here. And with this... Okay, now you're really troubling me. But I will have to deal with that a little bit later. I need to switch the stimulants to go over here, remove them from the stockpile here, remove the entire stockpile, and build a room here for the kitchen. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with the stability issue a little bit later. I just need a new kitchen here. Let's go with walls here, a doorway in here, and then a doorway in here, and more walls here, and then a wall here, here, and here. Let's see the stability here. Four. Well, it's definitely an issue. And we'll see how this is going to have to be dealt with. I need to take care of these wooden beams. And this one as well. And for the kitchen to be operational, I do need some of these wall decorations for pottery. So one here, and let's say one over here and doorways to make sure that it's separate room here and here and down here i don't really need a doorway yet well i actually don't need the doorway at all i mean this is a room by itself because it's down here and the temperature yes yeah, spare room temperature 2.7 so that's totally fine now the doorways are gonna get built and as i said i do need a heart now oh right this requires 
So I don't think it's totally forgot about that fact. So I am actually going to need smelting, which I don't have. Oh, I totally went about doing this the wrong way. As I said, sometimes I forget the order of things in a game because I play so many games and now I have created a problem for myself by not unlocking smithing and not having some iron ready to actually make those hearts. So in order to fix that problem, I will need to find some iron. There is salt here, not iron. Oh, right, iron is over here. So let's dig that, that's going to be enough. Have it stockpiled, I guess over here, material, raw iron nuggets, and then just wait for them to actually do enough tech. Now I could speed this up by building another. Oh, but do I have enough people for that? So research 42, eight, it is not going to get as far. And that person does plant harvesting, so I can't really take her away from that. Never mind. I'll just wait for this person to finish with this and then we'll do a kitchen here. I do need to finish the flooring here, although it should actually not be this type of flooring. It should be this type of flooring so that it's a path that they're going to use to get through here. Break that. There we go. So continuation of that road from out there. Okay, now down here we are done. This is all full and there is even the room left over. As for up here, why? Who, who keeps being idle? Marksman, medicine, mining. Oh, mining. Did I not give you enough? Oh, I see. Okay, go mine. Oh, right. I do have a problem with how do I not let them eat the packaged meals by going toggle allow for a bit? Yeah, but are the packaged meals the only thing that's here? Yes, it is. So forbid, forbid. Oh, but I would have to... Oh, I see. Okay, so let's go with food, meals, package meals, disable, copy these settings, go over... What did you do just now? Oh, the wrong setting. So copy, paste, paste. So food just without package meals. These last few need to be the ones that are set up for package meals. So package meals, but nothing else. So no medicine, no nothing, no raw food. So just package meals and that's it. And then copy the setting over to here and then forbid them from actually using any of that and somebody should come over and take the package meals from these put them over here onto these four and then i'll disable them from use the point that i'm doing here is because package meals are great for sending your settlers onto uh, missions for trade the caravans and also they are a great thing because they last for a very long time and if you run out of food for whatever reason you can always rely on those for food in your moment of need how are we with research? Only eight. It's going to actually take me a few days. So the kitchen is going to have to be prolonged for another episode. I do need to keep these doors open so that they don't waste time moving through here. As for rough wine and the stimulants, that's available to be moved here and here. Although I might as well reduce the size of this one. Shrink it down a little bit only to this size. Now this one is in the open currently. I might as well stop using this one and just use this one. What broke? Why did? Yeah, as she's digging this, this keeps on breaking the stability up here. It's one of the most annoying bugs in this game. The loss of stability, even though you have plenty of stability given to you by all the wooden beams. The only thing that I see that I could do is like destroy these wooden beams and then remake them. But if I did that, the whole thing would cave in on me. So they are probably the reason why the stability is so low if it's not up to these up here but if i were to take them down that would lead to the whole stability breaking down for this whole room although i think there is a way to solve this i could make my own pillars tear down the wooden beams rebuild them and then they should go back to giving stability everywhere i think that's something i will have to do in the next episode though so we are going to fix this problem but it's going to take us a whole new episode to do so. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more.